nationality of people invented noodles? If you can answer this and a bunch of other questions, maybe you've got what it takes to... And here's your Space Age host, a man who boldly goes where no host has ever gone before, Lou Schneider! One step begin here, and it's time for a little bit of a, I guess another ranking video. So, I'm sure you're going to do separate between the winners and losses for Make Great Season 1, but because there's only four winners, maybe five, one of the episodes is found yet. Um, yeah, I might as well combine them to the point just playing four in one video. So, we're starting with the worst one, which, this was the premiere episode, by the way, which just shows, so I'll show you, we're doing well. Fine. The Kim Blue Scott is doing pretty well. He's only like three squares away, I believe. We get a stupid fire drill. Hard to get over the planet. Okay, stop, Corey. Keep going, you guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, Corey, good job there. Where do you want to go? Look up at that board and find me a square. Blue. He's going to blue. Okay, he's taking all those. She's going to take that second place. Well, that's how it can change here. Six. Six. Corey. Eight. Um. Hey, this winkles. Oh. At these. You like? Let me do right. Let me do right. <laughs> that's what he sounds like. I'm not just doing that. These guys are looking at me like, what? Let me do right. Is that he plays its home game. I do okay. And look, oh, look at that! This kid earned his victory, and also to prove that he didn't deserve his victory, I should listen to my video. This is the worst video of the worst underground history. All right, congratulations, Corey! You played a great game in that first part, winning five hundred dollars. But now here in the honors round, you have a chance to add to that total a huge amount of American money. Uh, listen, here's how it works: we have three categories for you today. The categories are around the world, transportation, and television. Which one of those would you like? Uh, television. All right, television. You have forty-five seconds to correctly answer each of seven questions in television. Now we divided the questions into seven subject groups. The subjects are English, math, history, home ec social studies, phys ed, and geography. Now, as I go through these questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that later, all right? Now, uh, you also win $100 for every answer you get correct. If you get them all right, that's $1,000. Now, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Could I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. English. What show is about a teenage a teacher trying to educate sweat hogs? Yes. If you add 10%, how much would the $6 million man cost? Yes. Which aired first, the Cosby Show family t or Family Ties? Um, family Ties. Right. Home Economics, Poppin' Fresh is an animated spokesperson for what food brand? Popcorn. Incorrect. Who's the host of The Tonight Show? Um, yes. This Ed, is ESPN on broadcast or cable TV? Yes. Designing women live in what state? Yes. English. What show is about a teacher trying to educate sweat hogs? Yes. If you add 10%, how much would the $6 million man cost? Oh, oh, Corey. Missed a few there. Home Economics. Poppin' Fresh is a spokesperson for Pillsbury. 10% would be $6 million man would cost $6,600,000. The host of tonight's show is Johnny Carson. Uh, ESPN is on cable television. Designing Women Live in Georgia. And welcome back, Cotter, educated sweat hogs. But you did play nicely today. You did win $500 for the first game. $100 here. That's $600 for the total. That's terrific. Join us again next time for another challenging session of Make the Grade. So long, everybody. Promotional consideration. Keep in mind, this was the episode I chose to air first, which was the worst idea. In. What nationality of people invented noodles? The Chinese. Did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Melito. Uh, Lou, I know you want to be in the Fat Boys, but aren't you a little underweight? See you next time. Okay. Here's what we do. Let's move quickly, but don't panic. Come on over here to the fire drill area. Okay, we got a first and second. Okay, fire drill. That means you can go back to whatever desk you want to. 
You get you can just drop what you have, fellas. Any desk you want to go to. Where do you want to go? Blue. She wants to go to the blue dress blue desk. She's, she's going back to the green. Eric, you're in the red desk. Okay. We'll see you over there. So this can make one of the biggest comebacks ever though. Okay. Well, that's how fast it can happen. Laurie wins the fire drill, comes and controls all those answers that uh, Eric had accumulated up to that point. All right. Uh, Laurie, go ahead and uh, pick a question here. I'm all ready. Dogging at 10th grade. Dogging at 10th grade. Here we go. Through what kind of weather would you usually drive a dog sled? Eric. Snowing. Snow is absolutely right. He's back on. All right, Eric. Keep us moving, pal. Um, I'll take social studies, ninth grade. Social studies, ninth grade. Players, what performer holds the record for the best-selling debut album featuring songs like The Greatest Love of All and All at Once? Anyone up there? Any ideas? Lori? Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston is right. Crowded. Um, science, ninth grade. Science, ninth grade. What object floats in the sky and is sponsored by Goodyear? Eric. Goodyear blimp. The blimp, absolutely. Reminds me of some of my relatives. Okay, Eric, go ahead. Music, elementary. Her uh, music, elementary. Who is the lead singer of the Rolling Stones? Eric. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger, right you are. Making a big comeback here. Go ahead. Phys Ed, 11th grade. I'm sorry, Eric. That square is taken. Uh, why don't you select another one? Uh, social studies, 8th grade. Social studies, 8th grade. That's a free square. You don't even answer the question. Yeah. Go ahead and pick. History, 11th grade. History, 11th grade. Players, in 1819, Spain gave the United States what sunshine state? Uh, Lori. Florida. Florida is right. You regain control. Answer, uh, pick a square for us. Health, 12th grade. Health and body, 12th grade. All right. And first aid for choking. This maneuver forces air out of the lungs by a sudden squeeze of the abdomen. What is its name? Eric. The Heimlich the maneuver. The Heimlich maneuver is right. And you, ask, you will be picking. Go ahead. Um... Phys Ed, 7th grade. Phys Ed, 7th grade. Uh, let's have a look here. Okay, the question is, how many interlocking rings make up the Olympic symbol? Eric? Five. Five is right. Absolutely right. The man comes storming back. Eric, pick a square. History, 11th grade. History, 11th grade. Let me see how we're doing. Sorry. That's a blue, that's a taken square. You're going to have to do this again. Pick another square. History. All the people he, he thought accepted. He that's absolutely correct. He thought he probably close game. Uh, and our winner appears to be Eric in, the, yeah. in that red desk. Yeah. Come storming back yeah. with a major comeback. Yeah. He didn't. So come back. You hear? Yeah. We're here. Congratulations, Eric. You played a terrific game, an amazing game there, and now you have won your $500 for that victory, and here you have a chance in the honors round to add to it a terrific sum of American cash money. You know all about that. What are you winning? Money. There you go. Okay, and $1,000. Okay, what we have for you, here's how it works. We have three categories. You pick one, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. The questions are divided into different subjects. Today's subjects are, first of all, let me give you the categories. Famous Americans, famous pairs, and movies. Which one of those would you like? Famous Americans. Famous Americans. All right. Famous Americans has been divided into English, science, history, music, the arts, geography, and social studies. All those categories, the, all those subjects relate in some way to the category of famous Americans. And now, as I ask the questions, if you don't know an answer, pass it. We'll go back to that question afterwards. You get $100 for every correct answer. You get $1,000 if all of your answers are correct. Uh, are you ready to play? Yeah. Okay, please put 45 seconds on the clock. All right, Eric, here we go. English. Who wrote How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Dr. 
Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is right. Science, who invented the light bulb? Uh, pass. Pass. History, who was the first American to set foot on the moon? Um, Neil Armstrong. Right. Music, who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Pass. The arts, who directed the movie E.T.? Uh, pass. Geography, which president made the Louisiana Purchase? Social Studies, who anchors the network news on CBS? Um, pass. Science, who invented the light bulb? Um, pass. Music, who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Um, pass. Oh, 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 you got two right. That adds to your total of $500. You're going home with $700. That's not too shabby. Thanks. All right, listen, please join us again next time for another challenging session of Make the Grade. Say goodbye, Art. Bye. Bye, Art. Oh, Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Promotional consideration provided by British... Blue things, science fiction, or cities? Which one of those? Blue things. Blue things, all right. We've divided blue things into seven different subjects. The subjects are geography, science, history, music, the arts, home ec, and phys ed. As I go through these questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I'll give you $100 for each one you get correct. If you answer all seven right, $1,000. That's right. Now, time will not start until I finish the first question. May I, I, may I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. Geography. In what country would you find the Blue Ridge Mountains? Pass. Science. What do you call the second full moon in a month? Quarter. Incorrect. Which side in the Civil War was known as the Blue? The Confederate. Incorrect. What dead comic co-starred in the movie The Blues Brothers? Um, pass. In the movie and TV show, what was Blue Thunder? Um, uh, an airplane. Uh, helicopter. Right. Homek, what kind of butter substitute is blue bonnet? Um, margarine. Right. Phys ed, what sport did the Toronto Blue Jays play? Baseball. Right. Geography, in what country would you find the Blue Ridge Mountains? Uh, France. Incorrect. Music, what dead comic co-starred in the movie The Blues Brothers? Charlie Chaplin. Incorrect. Oh, here's, oh, that is it. Okay, let me see. The answers you missed were, in what country would you find the Blue Ridge Mountains? The U.S., right here. History, which side in the Civil War was known as the blue? The north. Uh, what do you call the second full moon in a month? A blue moon, we say. And what dead comic co-stars in the movie The Blues Brothers? John Belushi, you got three right. Add that to the 500, you already had one. That's now $800. Tremendous job. Good for you today. Please, everyone, won't you join us next time for another round of Make the Grade. So long, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Knights Sneakers. Get off on the right foot, get off in BK's. British Knights Athletic Footwear for guys and gals. Wherever you go, whatever you do, British Knights Home Video. Pick and eat. Sponsor Maria Melito. Hey, Lou. What a fake painting, huh? Well, I have this bridge for you. See you next time. Okay, Andrew. Congratulations, you played a terrific game, winning $500 for your efforts. But now, here in the honors round, you have a chance to add to that sum a terrific amount of American money. You know what that is? Yes. How much? $1,000. 1000 big cash dollars. That's right. Okay, now, here's how it works. We have three categories. You pick one of them. Then you will have 45 seconds to correctly answer seven questions in that category. Today's categories are famous Americans, famous pairs, and American presidents. Which one would you like? American presidents. American presidents. All right. We've divided the category into seven subjects. The subjects are math, geography, science, current events, the arts, and hi history, and phys ed. There will be questions in each of those seven subjects, but they'll all relate to the category of presidents. All right. When we read the questions, you get, you can pass it. If you don't know the answer, pass it. We'll move on to the next one. You get $100 for each right answer. If you get all seven correctly, that's when you pick up the 1000 bucks. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Here we go. Put, please put 45 seconds on the clock. And math. How many total years was Ronald Reagan president? Eight years. Correct. Current events. Who was the Democratic nominee for president in 1988? Pass. The arts. The one-man play, Give Him Hell Harry, was about what former president? Harry Truman. Correct. History, what polio-stricken president used, to, used a wheelchair to move around? Franklin Roosevelt. Correct. Phys ed, what team sport was George Bush captain of at Yale? Softball. 
Incorrect. Geography. What state is named after a president? Pass. Science. Our tallest president was six feet four inches tall. Who was he? Pass. Current events. Who was the Democratic nominee for president in 1988? Walter Mondale. Michael Dukakis. Geography. What state is named after a president? Oh, I'm sorry. Geography. What state is named after a president? That's Washington. Science. Our tallest president was six feet four inches. Who was he? Abraham Lincoln. You played a great game. You did get. Uh, Four, three questions, correct? That's $300 added to your 500. That's 800 bucks. That's a great game today. Good job, Andrew. Please join us again tomorrow for another challenging session of Make the Grade. So long, everybody. All contestants receive a free pair of British Knights sneakers. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BK's British Knights athletic footwear for guys and gals. Wherever you go, whatever you do, British Knights, the right move for you. Promotional consideration provided by the new three stooges. We are new. Can I, like, just see what I need? Sure. I'll sing. Please There's a kind don't. of a hush. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll just behave. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ben's looking over what he needs, and I'm just going to take this time. Eleventh little people. Fine, Ben. Okay, eleventh little people. Here we go. Dollars to the good for that one. All right. Tulip makes it easy. after this in the Five hundred dollars. Now here we are in the honors round. You have a chance to win another one thousand bucks. And here's how it works. We have three categories. You're going to pick one of them, and then in forty-five seconds you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. Today's category choices are famous women, famous stories, or funny people. Which would you like? Famous women. All right, famous women. We've divided that into seven subjects. The subjects are the arts, history, science, music social studies, phys ed, and geography. As I go through the questions, if you don't know the answer to one, you should pass that question. We'll come back to it later. I will give you $100 for each one you get right. You get all seven correct, you take home the $1,000. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Could I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. Art. Who starred as Lucy Ricardo on I Love Lucy? Pass. History. What was George Washington's wife's first name? Martha. Right. Science. Who was the first American female to ride into space? Pass. Homek. Who sings like a prayer? Pass. Social studies. What talk show hostess's name is Harpo spelled backwards? Oprah Winfrey. Right. Phys Ed. Chris Everett plays what sport? Tennis. Right. Geography. Margaret Thatcher is prime minister of what country? Um, pass. Arts. Who starred as Lucy Ricardo on I Love Lucy? Pass. <laughs> Science, who was the first American female to ride into space? Christy McCall. Incorrect. Who sings like a prayer? Pass. Margaret Thatcher is prime minister of what country? Oh, that is three correct answers you missed. Uh, the female who rode into space was Sally Ride. Margaret Thatcher is prime minister of England. Lucy Ricardo was uh, Lucille Ball. And Madonna sings like a prayer. That is $300 added to the $500 you won before. That's $800 you're going home with. Great job, folks. Please join us next time for another challenging edition of Make the Grade. Goodbye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Night Sneakers. Get off on your iron and fruit juice. Question or the answer? Name three American states that start with new. Rebecca. New York, New England, and New Hampshire. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I'll read the question again for Ryan and Marisa. Uh, name three American states that start with new. Uh, Marisa. Um, New York, New Jersey, and New England. I'm, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, Ryan, you get one more shot at this. I won't repeat the question. If you can go. New York, me. New Jersey, and New Hampshire. That's correct. New England is not a state. Ryan, pick for me, please. Geography, elementary, please. Eighth grade. A cello has how many strings? Rebecca. Five. Incorrect. Uh, Ryan and Marisa, a cello has five many strings. How many strings? Ryan. Six. No, that's incorrect. Marisa. Seven. No, four. Oh. Four strings on a cello. Okay, go ahead, Rebecca. Um, eighth grade home economics. Okay, home economics, eighth grade. What candy-coated popcorn contains peanuts and a prize? Ryan. Cracker Jack. Six squares each. Marisa, you uh, can't... One, two, three.
Let's see what we got here. All right, that comes off, and uh, you get that. Oh, and that's the time ending uh, the second round. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's looking at the scoreboards. One, two, three, four. Uh, boy, all the players are tied with nine scoreboard cards lit up. And let's look at the big board to break the tie if we can. Uh, counting squares here, we have, looks like there's a, well, yet, yeah, one, there are seven squares for Marisa in the red desk that has seven squares. The green and the blue have six square Marisa. Okay, there is seven. I just couldn't see it because of the gas logo. Each Marisa, you are our champion. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, a lot of money. Okay, here's how it works. Answer seven questions for contemporary music. What would you like? Today's categories are famous pairs, amazing animals, or contemporary music. What would you like? Amazing animals. All right, amazing animals. Here's how it works. We've divided that subject into uh, seven different... Se Subject into seven categories, excuse me. Science, English, geography, history, arts, home ec, and current events. Okay, all those questions relate in some way to the overall category of amazing animals. Now, as I read the questions, if you don't know one, you should pass it and we'll come back to it later. We give you $100 for every one you get right. If you get all seven correct, that's when you pick up the 1,000 potatoes, all right? You ready? Here's mm -hmm. how we're going to do it. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Please put 45 seconds on the clock. And here we go. Science. What kind of domesticated creature does Alf love to eat? Cats. Right. English. In what classic story would you find Sophie the seal and a push me pull you? Pass. Geography. Which way do salmon stream swim to spawn, upstream or downstream? Upstream. Upstream is right. History. What animal did Benjamin Franklin want to be the official symbol of the United States? Pass. The arts. In the famous novel, what kind of four-legged beast was Black Beauty? Horse. Right. Homek, in the old nursery rhyme, how many blackbirds were baked in a pie? Pass. Current events, born recently at California's SeaWorld, what kind of animal is Baby Shamu? Uh, killer whale. Right. English, in what classic story would you find Sophie the Seal and a Push Me Pull You? Pass. History, what kind of animal did Ben Franklin want to be the official symbol of the United States? Bear. Run. In the old nursery rhyme, how many blackbirds were baked in a pie? Oh, four and twenty is the answer to the blackbird yeah, question. Knew. Benjamin Franklin wanted the wild turkey to be the uh, animal of the United States. And in the classic story, Dr. Doolittle, you found Sophie to seal and push me for you. But you did get four questions correct. That's four hundred dollars added to your five hundred you want for the first game. That's nine hundred dollars. That's not too shabby, boy, I'll tell you. Listen, that was a real challenge. Please, you folks, join us again for another challenging session. I'll make the grade next time, won't you? Good. This is your announcer, Maria Melito, saying goodbye to you, you, and especially to you, Lou. See you next time. When I heard a voice, and the judges indicate that you are correct. Good for you. Go ahead, Laura. Phys Ed, 7th. Phys Ed, 7th grade. Okay, whoa, fire drill. All right, everybody. Come on down here. Where are you going back to? Red. You're going to go back. Well, you guys will be your time in the second round. And our winner at the red desk, by virtue of that fire drill, is Dylan. <laughs> Dylan, coming out of that fire drill, still on that category. The choices for today are famous stories, missing words, or shapes and sizes. Which one of those appeals to you? Shapes and sizes. All right, shapes and sizes we have divided into seven subjects. The subjects are geography, science, Math, home ec, phys ed, the arts, and history. As I go through these subject questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I'll give you $100 for every one you get right. You get all seven correct, $1,000, okay? Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Please put this child's head into a square. And 45 seconds on the clock, good, here we go. Geography, what country is shaped like a boot? Italy. Right. Science. Mercury was a cone-shaped rocket that sent the first Americans where? To the moon. Incorrect. An isosceles triangle has how many sides? Pass. Homac. What do you call a pastry that's round with a hole in the middle? A Danish. That's incorrect. Phys Ed. What ice sport uses a small, hard, round puck? Hockey. Right. Arts. Who starred in the movie Big? Tom Hanks. Right. History. What tall monument is named after our first president? The Washington Monument. Right. Math. How, an isosceles triangle has how many sides? Pass. You think. Math. An isosceles triangle has how many sides? Oh, right 
triangle, three sides, the questions you missed, a donut or a bagel was this was the round with the whole <laughs> round pastry. Mercury was a coach of object sent Americans into space, but you got four right, five hundred from the first part of the game, that's nine hundred dollars total. You had a great game today, and we hope you join us next time for another great game on Make the Grade. So long everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Knight Sneakers. Get over fumble. This is your announcer, Maria Melito. Hey, Lou, your mom's on the phone. She's not too pleased about that trash compactor food processor joke. You, know, you better talk to her. Tenth grade. Okay, chocolate, peanut butter, or ice cream. Which of these should you never feed a dog? David. Peanut butter. It's incorrect. Okay, for Julia Maria, chocolate, peanut butter, or ice cream, which of these should you never feed a dog? Julie. Chocolate. Chocolate is right. Peanut butter makes them look goofy, but chocolate is terrible because the caffeine will kill the dog. It speeds up their heart and kills them. I got to get home. I think I made coffee for Fluffy this morning. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Julie. English, L, English ninth. Chance to win up to $1,000 more. And here's how we do it. We have three categories. You pick one of them. And then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. Today's subject choices are cities, science fiction, or famous people. Which one do you want? Cities, please. Cities. OK, cities is divided into seven subjects. The subjects are math, social studies, history, science, phys ed, art, and music. Now, as I go through these subjects, you can, if you don't know the answer to a question, you pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I give you $100 for each one you get right. You get all seven correct, 1,000 bananas, OK? OK, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Could I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. Math, how many vowels in the name Boston? Incorrect. Social studies. What's the capital of Israel? Um, Islam. Incorrect. Uh, what do we call the city of New Amsterdam? Um, I don't know. Pass. Science. What? From what Florida city does Florida does NASA launch its rockets? Um, Cape Canaveral. Right. Phys Ed. What city do the football cowboys call home? Dallas. Right. The arts. Don Johnson fought crime on what Floridian TV show? Um. Miami Vice. Right. Music. According to the nursery rhyme, what bridge is falling down? London. Right. What do we now call the city of New Amsterdam? Pass. I don't know. Oh, the answer is New York. That's all the questions. New York was the answer to that. The ones you missed. What is the capital of Israel? Jerusalem. How many vowels in the name Boston? Two. O and O. Or one. We would have accepted that, too. But you did get four right. Add that to the 500 you won from the first game. That's $900. That was a great game. So long, everybody. Join us next time on it. Make the grade. Bye, everybody. And active the diaphragm, hiccups. Did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Molito. And don't worry about Fluffy Lou. I made sure it was decaf. See you next time. This is from the Animal Protection Organization, ASPCA, stand for Paul. Animal Association pickup. Um. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, no. Uh, let me try it again for Stephanie and Matthew. Really, I can honestly do this. What do the initials in the Animal Protection Organ... No. All right. American Society for the Prevention... All about it, Maria. Okay, Lou. Each of our runners... Are... Okay, great game there, Matthew. You've won $500 so far, but now here in the honors round, you have a chance to pick up a big hill of beans, and here is how it works. We have three categories. You pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. The category choices for today are science fiction, famous people, and things you wear. Which one of those would you like? Science fiction. All right, science fiction. Now, we've divided science fiction into seven different subjects. The subjects are social studies, science, Math, history, geography, home ec, and the arts. Now, as I go through these subject questions, if you don't know the answer to one, you should pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I give you $100 for each one you get right. You get all seven, 1,000 bucks, okay? Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Could I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. Social studies, who directed the movie E.T.? Science, what movie starred a computer named number five? Short Circuit. Right, math, how many Star Wars movies were there? Three. Right, history, in the War of the Worlds, what planet attacked Earth? Pass. Geography, what city served as the setting for Ghostbusters? New York. Right, Homek, what small round candy did Elliot give to E.T.? M&M's. Incorrect. 
Arts, who played the Mad Professor in Back to the Future? Pass. Social Studies, who directed the movie E.T.? George Lucas? Incorrect. History, in the War of the Worlds, what planet attacked Earth? Mars? Right. Arts, who played the Mad Professor in Back to the Future? Christopher Lloyd played the Mad Professor. The movie E.T. was directed by uh, Steven Spielberg and Reese's Pieces you got wrong. Reese's Pieces, that's four right though. Add that to the 500 you got from the first part. That's $500, $900 total. Five and four, 900. You played a great game. Join us another, for tomorrow or next time for more great games here on Make the Grade So Long, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Knight Sneakers. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BK's. British Knight's athletic footwear for guys and gals. Wherever you go, whatever you do, British Knight's the right move for you. And for Conair's Knight's wife. Join us again with Lou Schneider, the funniest guy I know. See you next time. Okay. Who's the host of Unsolved Mysteries? Nope. This is this is an it, this is an unsolved mystery itself. Robert Stack, Jesse, you were a little late on that. Robert Stack. Oh, and there is the buzzer ending uh, round two. And at this point, at the red desk, it is Stephanie who came closest to completing her scoreboard, needing only two more subjects and one more grade level, just beating out Jesse and Christopher. Tremendous job, Stephanie, for your effort so far. You've won five hundred dollars. You're going to go to the honors round where you have a chance at another one thousand bucks. So we'll do that. That's right. But Take it or spend it. Either one of those two things. All right, well, let's correctly answer seven choices for today are fill in the blanks, American history, or grab bag. Which one of those categories would you like? Fill in the blanks. All right, fill in the blanks. Now, we've divided fill in the blanks into seven different subjects. As I go through them, they are the arts, music, geography, social studies, home ec, phys ed, and history. As I go through the questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I'll give you 100 bucks for every answer you get right. You get all seven? $1,000. Okay. Now, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Can I please uh, have 45 seconds on the clock? Good. Here we go. Arts. The Empire Strikes What? Back. Right. Music. The Fine Young Cannibals album. The Raw and the What? Beautiful. Incorrect. Geography. The Famous Waterway. The Suez What? I don't know. <laughs> Social Studies. The American President. Dwight D. What? Eisenhower. Right. Home ec. All-purpose cleaner, Mr. Who? Queen. Right. Phys Ed, the athlete in the Nike commercials, Bo Who? Jackson. Right. History, a famous event, the midnight ride of Paul Who? Paul... Yeah. Uh, geography, the famous waterway, the Suez what? Yeah. History, the famous event, the midnight ride of Paul Who? Oh, my name is <laughs> Paul... I mean, yeah. Geography, the waterway, the famous... Oh, Suez Canal at the famous waterway. The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. And the one you got wrong, the Fine Young Cannibals album, The Raw and the Cook. Not The Raw and the Beautiful. But you did get four answers right. That's $400. You added to the $500 you won from the first game. $900 total. That's very nice cash. Good job. Thanks for playing. We did enjoy having you here today. And I hope you folks had a great fire. Okay. My car. This is your announcer, Maria Molito. Hey, Lou, can you handle a vacuum cleaner? Because my carpets need... See you next time. Okay, we actually got this episode uploaded now, so now we have everything. So, I'm going to show, so, it's a battle between green and blue. They do hold everything. Red wins, pretty much getting all their points back, stealing all blue's points. Well, Red managed to actually do really well. Harley Simon. Harley Simon is right. Now, for a regular jump shot in basketball. Jeff. Two. Two points. Right, Jeff. Is move over, move quickly. But they do an iron fire drill. He managed to get his points back. Also notice Gabby has literally not done a damn thing since she moves. Okay, Jeff, go ahead. The E, elementary. In baseball, what's a full count? Three balls, two strikes. Did it play it to remember the end? Gabby. Play it. Excuse me? Play it. Play it is incorrect. Uh, That's the only response she ever gave the entire game. She sucks. 
Congratulations, Jeff. You played a great game. Uh, as our winner, you won $500, but now here in the honors round, you have a chance to add to that sum a terrific amount of American cash money. You know how much, don't you? Thousand dollars. Thousand bucks. That's mm -hmm. absolutely right. A lot of clams here, kid. Okay, here's how it works. We have three categories. You pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions. Now, we divided uh, the three categories for today are, sorry, famous pairs, cities, and movies. Which one would you like? I'll take movies. Okay, movies. We'll put these away. All right, within the category of movies, we've divided the questions into seven subjects. Today's are math, phys ed, history, science, geography, home ec, and music. All those subject questions relate in some way to the category of, mu of movies that you picked. Now, as you go through the questions, if there's an answer you don't know, pass it. We'll go back to that question. Um, you get $100 for each correct answer. You get $1,000 if you get all the questions right. You already know that. Okay. Uh, may I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? All right, Jeff, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Are you ready to play? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Math. Add the Indiana Jones movies to the Star Wars movies, and what do you get? Five. Incorrect. Phys Ed, in what movie did Sylvester Stallone first star as a pro boxer? Rocky. Right. History. During what war is the classic movie Gone with the Wind set? Pass. Science. What John Hughes movie stars two nerds who use a computer to create Kelly LeBrock? Weird Science. Correct. Geography. In what state is the movie Parenthood set? Pass. Home ec. In what movie did a character sing a song called The Candyman? Pass. Music. Who sang the song Bat Dance? Prince. Right. History. During what war is the classic movie Gone with the Wind set? Civil. That's correct. Geography. In what state is the movie Parenthood set? Oh, gosh, you got four right answers. The questions you missed were, the questions you didn't get were, in what movie did a character sing a song called The Candyman, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and in what state is the movie Parenthood set, Geography, and the correct answer was six. The, the Indiana Jones and the Star Wars combined, that's six. Well, you did great. You're going to take home, you're going to take home, sorry, uh, five hundred and four, nine hundred dollars. You win nine hundred dollars for today's game. You played a terrific job. Thanks for coming. Please join us again when we next time when we play Make the Grade. So long, everybody. Thank for you, Larry Forever. You to make the grade. See you next time. This is Maria Melito. Remember, we want you to make the grade. See you next time. For elementary, wonder if that's one of them. Nope. Okay. Uh, players, when you mix yellow and red together, what color do you get? When you mix yellow and red. Anyone? Oh, orange. Oh, I know, I knew that. Even I knew that. Okay. Guys, no harm done. Go ahead. Great job. You really kicked in there and won that last round, and now you have $500 for winning that game. But here we are in the honors round. You have a chance to add to that total $1 thousand dollars you know about that yes you do okay you're taking it very seriously all right here's how it works we have three categories you pick one and then uh in 45 seconds you must correctly answer seven questions related to that category now which the categories today are green things amazing animals and famous pears which one would you like I think I'll take green things. All right, green things. Okay, you, uh, the subject, uh, the category of green things has been divided into seven subjects. They are geography, phys ed, the arts, science, math, home ec, and music. All those subject questions relate some way to the category green things. As we go through these questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to it later. You get $100 for every correct answer. If you get all seven right, that's when you pick up the 1,000 clams, all right? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. He's ready. Now, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Please put 45 seconds on the clock. And here we go. Geography. What large island in the Atlantic Ocean is actually part of Denmark? Greenland. Correct. Phys Ed. Fenway Park is home to the Green Monster and what pro baseball team? Um, the Cubs. Incorrect. The Arts. What famous TV Vulcan traveled through space with green blood in his veins? Sp Dr. Spock. Correct. Science, the same green mold found on certain foods is used to manufacture what basic antibiotic? Um, pass. Math, how many primary colors does it take to make the color green? Three. Incorrect. Homac, what green creature lives in a valley and advertises frozen vegetables? Green giant. 
Correct. Music, what is the name of the most recent REM album? Green. Correct. Science, the same green mold found on certain foods is used to manufacture what basic antibiotic? Oh, oh. You had four correct answers. The penicillin was the anti was the same green mold. And uh, also you passed on uh, the incorrect. How many primary colors does it take to make the color green? Two. Phys Ed. It was not uh, Fenway Park. It's the home of the Red Sox. So you got four answers. That's $500 for winning the game. 400 for the honors round. You are taking home that money. And let's say goodbye. Please join us again in another challenging round of Make the Grade. So long, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Knight Sneakers. Get off on the right foot, get off in BK's. British Knight's athletic footwear for the one level from Walt Disney. Now you can pick any... By the way, what planet lies between Uranus and Pluto? The answer is Neptune. This is Maria Melito. Remember, we want you to make the grade. See you next time. He pits three kids up today and a host wearing clothing he would never wear in public. <laughs> As we battle to answer questions and win cash prizes. Before we take a look at the board and our subjects for today, let's meet our players. Hi, players. Nice, nice sweater, Lou. Look. <laughs> I already said I would never wear this. It's, uh, I don't know. Never mind. It's just too pink. Anyway. Okay, we are back. And uh, this is great. Danny has graduated to the honors round here. Danny, you won that game picking up $500 in a real unconventional manner. You actually uh, took a square for the victory, which uh, shows you had great control of the board and knew what you were doing. And nice job. And like I said, you've won $500. But now here you are in the honors round with a chance to pick up another 1,000 skins. That's right. Now, first of all, two questions for you. One, what are you going to do with that money? Spend it. Spend it. Immediately? Yep. Okay, because I'm going to sell you these shoes, Danny, for $100. This sweater, pink. Do you like pink? Yeah. $300. Uh, what do you think? I don't think so. What do you mean? Nickelodeon watch. How much do you think for that? 500 bucks. Okay, good, good. All right, now here's another question for you. Who did you say hi to before the show? Everybody. Everybody, that's right. I want to right. say, now that means, of course, you have to share the money with? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> We're setting up a charitable institution in Danny's name at the end of the show. Now, uh, I want to wish you good luck. Is this in any way related to good luck? What is this? It's a bracelet. You don't arm really bracelet. Have... It's, a, it's a what kind of bracelet? Arm bracelet. An, ar bracelet. an arm bracelet? Yep. Is that how it gets its name? It's on the arm. It's a bracelet. It's an arm bracelet. Right. Good thinking. And those would be foot shoes? Yep. Leg pants? Yep. Torso shirt? Yep. Head hair? Yep. You're a little old man, Dan. And by the way, you don't have to share that money with anyone. That's your money. Good. Okay? <laughs> but if you wanted to share, I'll give you my number after the show. Okay. Here's how the game works. We have three categories. You're going to pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. Now, the category choices for today are American history, grab bag, or space stuff. Which one would you like? I'll take space stuff. All right, space stuff. These are all questions that relate in some way to outer space, space exploration, something like that. You get the point. That's how we get the title. Space stuff. Okay. okay. We've divided space stuff into seven different subjects, and the subjects are math, history, geography, social studies, home ec, the arts, and music. So all those subject questions relate in some way to the overall category of space stuff. Now, as I go through the questions, if you don't know the answer to one, you should pass that question. We'll come back to it later. I'll give you $100 for everyone you get right. You get all seven? A lot of wampum. 1000 bucks. That's right. Okay. Now, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Please put Danny's head in a box right over here. And 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Math. What crater-filled object is 239,000 miles away from Earth? The moon. Right. History. What distant planet was discovered this century? Pass. Geography. In what city would you find the Johnson Space Center? Pass. Social studies. What year did man first land on the moon? Pass. Home ec, where would you, where would a stick of butter weigh more, on Earth or in space? In space. Uh, incorrect. What TV series promises to boldly go where no one has ever gone before? Star Trek. Right. Music, what singer wrote a biography called Moonwalk? Michael Jackson. Right. History, what distant planet was discovered this century? Pluto. Right. Geography, in what city would you find the Johnson Space Center? California. That's incorrect. What year did man first land on the moon? Social studies. 1963. No, that's incorrect. 69 man first landed on the moon. And in what city would you find the Johnson Space Center? That's Houston. Where would a stick of butter weigh more on Earth or in space? You just missed guess there. 
Look, you knew that. Yeah. You knew that. Oh, great job. You got four right. That's $400 added to your total from before. That's $500. 900 total. That's a great total for today. $900 is beautiful work. Thanks for playing. I hope you had a good time, and I hope you people had a good time watching. And please join us next time for another edition of Make the Grade. Bye, everybody. From a secret magic and so what do you mean you don't like that sweater? Don't you remember I gave it to you? See you next time. Geography, seventh grade. Okay, geography, seventh grade. That is a take. You're going to take that square. Who, you can take an opponent square. Who's you going to take? Red Geography Ninth. Yep, Red Geography Ninth. And by taking a square, you are a champion today, Angelo. One of the few times you see that, a player actually is able to win the game on a take. You used your strategy, you looked up on the board, you found the square you needed, and you grabbed it. Good for you, Jordan. That cost you a little bit there. I was looking over. I didn't know if Jordan had had the geography. I wonder if Angelo was going to catch that, but nice job. Okay, Angelo, you know you win $500 for your effort so far, but you're going to go to the honors round. In a couple of minutes, you're going to have a chance at another $1,000 in prize money. Chudney and Jordan, you guys played a great game today. Played well in the fire drills at the end of that last game. Really, boy, it was pretty even. Well, so far, you've won 500 dollars My brother No, he's only Doesn't eight. he have a nose that he can play on his own? <laughs> yeah, when we, that was all we had when we were kids. We had no toys. We just sat there and cracked our knuckles and, you know, did the whole egg thing, you know. And, you know. <laughs> we didn't have toys. It was before toys. Anyway, listen, Angelo, uh, is there anyone you'd like to say hello to today? I understand that you might want to say hello yeah, to someone. I would like to say hey, guys? He knows that he's watching. Play, uh, just stump me one time with the name that tune on the old nasal. Okay. Good. Remove the lenses. You want to leave yep. them there? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. But, th but suppose you start jamming. I don't want the glass. Here, <laughs> put them here. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, Angela, stop there. Rock and Robin. You must correctly answer seven questions on that category. All right? The category choices for today are Black Things, Missing Words, and Teen Stars. Which one of those would you like? Black Things. Black Things. Okay, we've divided Black Things into seven different subjects. The subjects are Music, Science, Geography, History, the Arts, Home Ec, and Phys Ed. Now, as I go through these questions, Angelo, if you don't know the answer to one, you should pass it. We'll come back to that question later. Time will not start. Uh, now, here's the story. Wait, I didn't tell you this. I'll give you 100 bucks for each one you get right. You get all seven correct. How much? A thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. That's absolutely right. All right, time won't start until I finish reading the first question. Uh, could I please put Angelo's head up in the corner of the screen in a box? And 45 seconds on the clock. That's perfect. Okay, here we go. Music. What two colors are on piano keys? Black and white. Right. Science. What do you call it when all the power in a city goes out? Blackout. Right. Geography. Are the Black Hills in North or South Dakota? Pass. History. What's another name for the bubonic plague? Um, pass. Arts. Is black the absence or the presence of all color? Absence. Right. Home ec. Which is edible? Black eyed peas or black coal? Black eyed peas. Right. Phys ed. The silver and black LA Raiders play what sport? Um, basketball. That's incorrect. Geography. Are the Black Hills in North or South Dakota? Um, pass. Okay. History. What's another name for the bubonic plague? Um, pass. Black. Are the Black Hills in North or South Dakota? Think black. Um, North. That's incorrect. History. Oh, think black. Um, North. That's incorrect. History. What's another name? Oh, Angelo. Another name for the bubonic plague is the Black Death. Was it the Black Plague? You got four right. Geography. The Black Hills are in South Dakota. The Raiders play football. That was great. You got four right. Added to the 500 you won before you go home with $900. Hope you had a great time because we had a great time having you. And I hope you folks join us another, for another great time here next time on Make the Grade. Bye, everybody. The animated class works every day. Crystal has a right. The Grade. If Angelo joins you on your harmonic nose album, can I have a copy? All right. See you next time. In order to win our game and advance to the honors round, you need to answer at least one question in every grade level and one in each subject. Now, you can do that in any pattern you like, but the player who does it first will win $500 and a chance to go on to the honors, on, honors round. <laughs> Stay with me, folks. An honors round where they have another shot at $1,000 in prize money. But uh, I should also warn you that behind some of those chances, to pick up another $1,000 in prize money. But before we get to that, we do have to say goodbye to your runners-up, Barry and Ron. We are back. Jennifer, great game there. Very, very exciting. Now, here you are in the honor round. You have a chance to pick up another 
How much money? You know? Uh, one thousand five hundred. Well, if you have a chance to go home with a total of one thousand. Yeah. You have a chance to win up to a thousand here. What would you do with all that money? Uh, probably go to college. Probably go to college. Good for you. I mean, you're going to go anywhere, but you use it for college. Yeah. That's really nice, you know, because I would have said, um, I don't know, buy, you know, cereal or something, you know. But <laughs> you thought of something better than that. That's good. A little psychology. $1,500 worth of pre-psychology courses. Oh, that's good. Good for you. Anybody you want to say hello to out there before we get going on this? Yeah, Jennifer and Sherry. Jennifer and Sherry. I want to say hello to them, too. Jennifer and Sherry, hello. It's from me and Jennifer. I really mean that. All right, two very good friends of mine. I've never met them before in my life. Okay, here's how it works. This is the honors round. We have three categories. You're going to pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. Now, the category choices for today are grab bag, fill in the blanks, or food facts. Which one of those would you like? Uh, grab bag. Okay. Now, we've divided grab bag into seven different subjects, and the subjects are history, science, arts, phys ed, home ec, geography, and English. Now, as I go through these subject questions, Jennifer, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I'll give you 100 bucks for everyone you get right. You get all seven right, $1,000. Okay. Now, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Please put this kid's head in a box right about here. Okay? 45 seconds on the clock. That's perfect. Here we go. History. During what war was the Battle of Gettysburg fought? Um, civil. Right. Science. Who invented the electric light bulb? Einstein. That's incorrect. George Lucas created what famous science fiction movie series? Star Wars. Right. Phys Ed. What, for what winter sport is the Stanley Cup awarded? Pass. Homek. What color M&M was once banned? Green. That's incorrect. Geography. What's the capital of New York? Uh, pass. Okay. English. Who wrote Super Fudge? Judy Blue. Right. Phys Ed. For what winter sport is the Stanley Cup awarded? Um, hockey? Right. Geography. What's the capital of New York? Uh, last question. Geography. What's the capital of New York? Oh, four right. Albany is the capital of New York. Edison invented the light bulb. And red, red M&Ms were once banned. You got four right. Add that to your previous total. That's $400. Add it to $500. And you won from the first game. You're going home with $900. And that's not too shabby. Terrific. You'll go to college with that. I'm sure. Enjoy. I hope you had a good time. How many states have the word island in their name? One. Did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Melito. Hey, Lou, if you're the best darn host this show ever had, am I the best darn announcer? See you next time. This and a bunch of other questions. This episode's actually kind of interesting because there's not a single fire drill in the entire episode. And yet, no one managed to clear the board still. Good job, Michael. You just edged out Elizabeth, who had five and five. Great game there. And Jeremy, at the end, made a last charge at it. But, Michael, you avoided it. It was amazing. Categories for today are missing words, grab bag, or movies. Uh, Which one would you like? Movies. Movies. Okay. We've divided this, the category of movies into seven subjects. And the subjects are geography, science, music, home ec, phys ed, the arts, and English. Okay? As I go through these subject questions, if you don't know the answer to one, you should pass it. We'll come back to that question later. All right? Give you 100 bucks for everyone you get right. Get all seven correct? $1,000. That's right. Okay, time won't start until I've actually finished reading the first question. Please put this kid's head in a box right up here. And give me 45 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Geography. In what state is Beverly Hills cop set? Detroit. Uh, that's incorrect. In the movie, who played young Einstein? Yahoo Serious. Right. Music, who sings the song on our own from the movies Ghostbusters 2? Bobby Brown. Right. Home ec, what movie co-stars Steve Martin and Rick Moranis as fathers? Parenthood. Right. Phys Ed, who played the title role in The Karate Kid? Ralph Marshall. Right. Arts, who plays the Joker in the movie Batman? Pass. English, what's the story about a flying boy from Never Neverland? Peter Pan. Right. Arts. Who plays the Joker in the movie Batman? Uh. I know you know. Arts. Who plays the movie? Jo who plays the Joker in the movie Batman? Oh. Uh... I know you'll think of it. Just think. Uh... Oh. Jack Nicholson sound familiar? Yeah. How about geography? It's what state is Beverly Hills Cop 
set. It could have been Michigan or California, but you got five Detroit. right. You said Detroit. Five right, that's five hundred dollars plus five hundred from the field, one thousand dollars cash. You played great today. Beautiful job. Goodbye everybody. See you next time on Make the Great. Bye everybody. Promotional consistency. Stephen Foster album. Could I sing the Duda Duda? Thanks. See you next time. Back, Darren. You played a great game there in the first part. You've won five hundred dollars, but now here in the honors round, you have a chance to go for a whole lot of loot. And here is how it works. We have three categories. You choose one of them, and then in forty-five seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. Today's choices are famous stories, funny people, or abbreviations. Which one of those would you like to answer? Funny people. Funny people. Okay, now we've divided funny people into seven different subjects, and the subjects are social studies, science, history, math, English, the arts, and geography. As I go through these subject questions, if you don't know the answer to one, you should pass it. We'll come back to that question later. Time will not start now. Time will not start till I finish reading the first question. I'll give you $100 for every one you get right. You get all seven correct. That's $1,000, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Can I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. Social studies. Who was the host of Super Sloppy Double Dare? Pass. Science. Who played the scientist in My Stepmother is an Alien? Dan Aykroyd. Right. History. Who came first, Charlie Chaplin or Rodney Dangerfield? Charlie Chaplin. Right. Math. How many Brady kids are there? Six. Right. English. What co comedian recently starred in Dead Poet Society? Robin Williams. Right. The arts. On Family Ties. Who plays Alex Keaton? Um, Michael J. Fox. Right. Geography. Comedian Yaakov Smirnov claims to be claims to come from what country? Israel. Incorrect. Social studies. Who's the host of Super Sloppy Double Dare? That's the last question you have left. Mm -hmm. Think of Nickelodeon shows. Who is the host of Super Sloppy Double Dare? You know this guy? Money. Ooh, Mark Summers is the answer okay. to that. Yakov Smirnov is the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union or Russia. He got five, right? Added to the five he won from the first part of the game. That's $1,000. 500, 500, 1,000. We had a great time here. Hope you had a good time, please. I hope you join us next time here on Make the Grade. Goodbye, everybody. To lose your position, but you did so. You nailed that target, picking up the win, and now you also have control of the board. Why don't you keep us going here? Science for seventh grade again. Okay, here we go. He's going after that square. According to legend... Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity when what fruit fell on his head? Robert. Apple. An apple, that's right. You know, the weird thing is, he had been hit by like nine other fruits at that point. Someone was throwing an entire fruit salad. And it was only when the apple that he thought of it. That's actually, it's true. I'm telling you. Go ahead, Robert. Geography for eighth grade. Geography, eighth grade, okay. Oh, lose a square, Robert. You have to pick a square that you already have and give it back. Okay, how about... Back to you, Lou. Okay, we'll be right back to see if Robert here can win the honors round and perhaps go home with $1,500, so don't go away. Okay, we are back with Robert, and Robert, tremendous job so far. You've won $500, but now here you are in the honors round. You have to p a chance to pick up another 1,000 smacks. Yes. All right, here's how it works. We have three categories. You're going to choose one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you, may, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. Now, today's category choices are fill in the blanks, game shows, or sources of noise. Which one would you like? Game shows. Okay, great. Now, as you go through game shows, we've divided it into seven subjects, and the subjects are phys ed, English, home ec, geography, the arts, social studies, and music. Now, as I go through these questions, Robert, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that question later. All right? I'll give you 100 bucks for every answer you get right. Get all seven correct? $1,000. Okay, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. And uh, we can put this, head, this child's head in the box over here. It's perfect. 45 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Phys Ed, what show asks people in its audience to come on down? Price is Right. Right. English, on what show are contestants asked to put their answers in question form? Jeopardy. Right. Home Ec, what show asks kids to slide down a Sunday slide? Double Dare. Right. Geography, what show features celebrities in a giant tic-tac-toe board? Pass. Arts, Vicki Lawrence Schultz hosts what game where contestants draw pictures? Pictionary. Oh, uh, no, that's incorrect. Social studies. On what show do you hear the phrase, the survey says? Um, pass. Okay. Music. What show asks you to sing along with Colin? Pass. 
Geography, what show features celebrities in a giant tic tac toe? Right. Social studies, on what show do you hear the phrase the Family survey says? Food. Right. What show asks you to sing along with Colin? Remote Control asks you to sing along with Colin. Vicki Lawrence Schultz hosts the game show where can doesn't draw pictures. Win, lose, or draw. Great job. You won five. You got five questions right. That's five hundred dollars. Added to your previous total of five hundred dollars. You're going home with the grand, my friend. One thousand dollars for Robert here. Hope you had a nice time. We sure did. And we'll see you next time on Make the Grade. Bye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Head in the Salon for your new show. Jay Leno, did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Molito. Hey, Lou, any fruits drop on your head lately? See you next time. One quarter is what percent of a dollar? Jared. Uh, 25 cents. 20, that's incorrect. What quarter is oh, uh, 25, oh, excuse me. What quarter is, pers what? Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go out. I'll come right back. I promise to do this correctly. Ready? Here we go. One quarter is what percent of a dollar? <laughs> Rachel? Um, 25%. That's exactly right. <laughs> there we go. Okay, uh, go ahead, Rachel. Um, if Jared here can pass the honors round of well in that green wrestling. Jared? Sumo. Sumo is right, and in the blue desk, Jared! Plan. Uh, just send your money to me, kid. No, no, don't. Someone once got in trouble for that. Don't do it! I said not to. Good, okay. All right, uh, Jared. Here's something else. You, uh, you said you had a couple of hellos you wanted to give out today. Go ahead and uh, say okay. hellos. Uh, hi, Mom and Abby. Um, hola, Alex. Alex must be from another country. Hey, Tig. And hello, Fufu Brains of Polly. You know, I don't even know anyone named Fufu Brains. Fufu Brains? Fufa. Oh, Fufu. Fufu Brains. Oh, Fufu Brains. That's so different. Well, here's how the honors round works. Uh, what we have here are three categories. You're going to pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. The categories for today, my friend, TV, funny people, and famous women. Okay, okay, which one of those would you like? TV. All right, TV. You've selected TV, and I have divided TV into seven subjects. The subjects are history, science, math, geography, social studies, home ec, and the arts. Now, as I go through these questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I'll give you a hundred bucks for every question you get right. You get them all, one thousand dollars American moolah. Okay, that's how it works. Now, time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Could I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? And put his hair in, head into a little square? Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. History. What cartoon stars a modern Stone Age family? The Flintstones. Right. Science. What's another name for the bionic man? The six million dollar man. Right. Matt, how many members in the Family Ties Keaton family? Five. It's incorrect. Geography, in what city does the Cosby Show take place? Brooklyn. Right. Social studies, which aired first, L.A. Law or The Facts of Life? The Facts of Life. Right. Home Ec, Falcon Crest is a show about making what great beverage? Coca-Cola. That's incorrect. Art, on what TV show would we find Al and Peg Bundy? Married with children. That's correct. You missed two of those. Maybe you thought I said grape. It was grape beverage. Falcon oh. Crest is a show about making wine. It takes place in wine country. Matt, how many members in the Family Ties Keaton family? That, that little, that little, little, little Keaton. The littlest Keaton. I'm not taking the Michael J. Fox. And he's little, too. And he does this all the time. That's one. Oh. Well, you got five right. That adds to your five dollars, your five hundred dollar total from before. That's one thousand bucks plus my cut. That's two fifty. So you're going home. No, he gets all thousand dollars. I get nothing, ladies and gentlemen. I do this out of the goodness of my heart. I want to tell you all to join us next time on British Night in Paper mache paste is basically a mixture of what two things? Flour and water. Did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Molito. Hey, Lou, did you really play the French horn, or are you just fizzling around? Ha <laughs> ha. See you next time. Ships used in what recreational game? Cheryl. Cards? No, that's incorrect. For Carrie and for Matt, uh, Winks are the playing chips used in what recreational game? Carrie? Bingo. Oh, <laughs> bingo is incorrect, but nice try there. Matt, can I try for me here? No. You guys have never tiddled your winks? Tiddlywinks. Tiddlywinks. Before we had cable, that's what we did, you guys. We tiddly, we played tiddlywinks all night long. Go ahead, uh, Cheryl. Um, sure. Go ahead. Good job. Great.
You could play, but the game wouldn't last long. Okay, go ahead, Matt. World history, ninth grade. World history, ninth grade. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization is better known by what abbreviated name, Matt? NATO. NATO is right, and in the red vest, Matt, you are our champion. Good job, Matt. Picking up $500 with that victory, but not only that, Matt is now the lucky one who graduates for the honors round with a chance to win another $1,000 cash. Cheryl, oh, tough break there. Coming out of the green, gets burnt in the fire drill. Great job. Big, strong comeback in that blue desk. Cheryl, thanks for uh, joining us today. Carrie, also, thank you for some fine play from both of you guys. Really, we appreciate having you here. We do not send you home empty-handed, as you know. Okay, Matt, we are back, and you played a terrific game there, winning $500 so far, but now here in the honors round, you have a chance to pick up another 1,000 clams. I said clams because you're a fisherman. thought that was nice and aquatic. Huh? Anyway, Matt, what would you do with 1,000 more, more dollars? I'm not sure. I'd put a lot of it in the bank, though. Oh, well, good. How, how sensible. I would have been like, and I would buy this, and I would buy this, and I would buy this. Well, good. Good for you. Way to be sensible, Matt. Here, you're going to need that level head because here's how the honors round works. We have three categories. You choose one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. We've, now, we've divided them into three different choices, TV, Islands of the World, and Famous Women. Which one would you like? Islands of the World, please. Islands of the World. Now, that's been further divided into seven subjects. The subjects are phys ed, geography, history, science, the arts, social studies, and music. Now, as I go through these questions, if you do not know the answer to a question, pass it. We'll come back to it later. I'll give you $100 for everyone you get right. You get all seven correct, $1,000 now. Okay. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. May I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. Phys Ed. The New York Islanders play what pro sport? Hockey. Right. Geography. Bermuda is an island in what ocean? Caribbean. No, Atlantic. That's incorrect. History. What island continent is Crocodile Dundee from? Australia. Right. Science. On what island nation was the first atom bomb dropped? Um, Japan. Right. The arts. What TV show was about a group of island castaways? Um, Gilligan's Isle. Right. Social studies. What group of islands is the 50th state? Hawaii. Right. Music. Bob Marley was a reggae singer and native of what Caribbean island? Aruba. No, not Aruba. Oh, that is seven questions. You got five right. He was a native of Jamaica, and I heard you say it after you missed it the first time. Caribbean, you said. You meant Atlantic. Bermuda's in the Atlantic. You did say it afterwards, but I already heard Caribbean. You got five right. You won 500 from the first game. That's a total of $1,000. Tremendous job, Matt. Great. Good going. Please, that was a lot of fun. Join us next time for more fun here on Make the Grade. Goodbye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Services of Some Video Ever. This is your announcer, Maria Molito. Hey, Lou, when you accidentally tie your shoelaces together, isn't that what Schneider means? See you next time. What are the three primary colors? Amy. Red, red green, and yellow. That's incorrect. I'll ask it again for uh, Evan and for Sheila. Three primary colors are, Sheila? Okay, blue, green, and red. Uh, that's still incorrect. I'll ask it again for Evan. What are the three primary colors, Evan? Um, blue, blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. That's what I wanted. Absolutely. Players, I should also remind you that, that eat it, play it, dance it. The answer to those category questions are you either do one of those three things, eat it, dance it, or play it. So I'm not steering you toward any category. I'm just saying if you want to pick it, it's pretty easy. I'm not saying it's real easy. Go ahead. What's the rest of this show's title? Super Mario Brothers. Sheila. Oh. They're holding your head. Oh. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Evan. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. T uh, and friends and Super Mario Brothers Two. Uh, no, that's incorrect. Amy, you want to take a shot at this? What's the rest of this show's title? Super Mario Brothers. Dot dot dot. Mm -hmm. Super show. Super show. Okay. No harm done. Go ahead, Sheila. Arts Elementary. Arts Elementary. What movie begins with the words, 
a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Superman? Evan. Nope, that's incorrect. What movie begins with the words, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? Amy or Sheila? Amy. Star Trek? No, Star Trek is incorrect. What movie begins with the words? Star Wars. Star Wars, right, Sheila. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Home Ec for, wait. How about Blue? Okay, we'll be right back to see if we are back. Sheila, great game there. You won by one square, beating Amy by just one square. And now you've won $500, but here in the honors round, you have a chance to add a nice chunk of change. And here's how it works. We have three categories. You pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. Today's category choices are famous stories, abbreviations, or yellow things. Which one of those would you like? Yellow things. Yellow things. Okay, we divided that into seven subjects. The arts, geography, and phys ed. As I go through the questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to it later. I'll give you a hundred bucks for everyone you get right. Get all seven. One thousand potatoes, okay? Time will not start till I finish reading the first question. Could I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? And here we go. Social studies. What do you call a yellow car with a meter and a light on top? Cab. Right. Science. What celestial body gives off heat and light? Sun. Right. Homek. Chiquita is known for growing what yellow fruit? Banana. Right. Music, what group sang about a yellow submarine? Pass. Arts, what movie featured ye the yellow brick road? Oh, The Wizard of Oz. Right, geography, in what park can you find a geyser called Old Faithful? A national yellow stone park. Uh, yes, that's correct. Phys Ed, what color are the penalty flags in football? Yeah. Right, music, what group sang about yellow submarine? The Supremes. Oh, that's incorrect. Oh, six right. You got six right. That's six hundred dollars okay. added to five. That's eleven $1 hundred dollars total. The Beatles sang "Yellow Submarine." Oh, you okay. did a great job. Thanks for playing. Okay. And please, won't you join us next time for another challenging round of Make the Grade? Bye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Knight sneakers. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BK's British Knight athletic footwear for guys and gals. Wherever you go, whatever you do, British Knight and carriage. Treatment from a doodle trade. Bouncer Maria Molito. Hey, Lou, you're not completely ooky. You're definitely kooky, but we love you anyway. Aw, see you next time. And here we are, Matt. Great game against some great competition, picking up that $500 in the first part. But now here we are in the honors round. You have a chance to win another $1,000 here. All right, here is how it works. We have three categories. You pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. The, quest, uh, the category topics for today are famous people, missing word, or famous women. Which one of those would you like? Famous people. Famous people, okay. We've divided famous people into seven different subjects. The subjects are history, geography, science, the arts, English, phys ed, and social studies. Now, as I go through these subject questions, if you don't know the answer to one, Pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I'll give you $100 for each one you get right. You get all seven, $1,000. Okay. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. May I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. History. Who is our second president? Um, oh, John Adams. Right. Geography. What was Punch de Leon looking for in Florida? Uh, Fountain of Youth. Right. Science. Who was the first man on the moon? Um, Pass. Arts, who created the Peanuts characters? Uh, Charles Schultz. Right. English, who wrote the book Green Eggs and Ham? Uh, Dr. Seuss. Right. Phys Ed, what professional hockey player is known as the Great One? But Wayne Gretzky. Right. Social Studies, what's the first name of President Bush's wife? Um, Barbara. Right. Science, who was the first man on the moon? Um, uh, John... John Adams? No. Uh... uh I was wishing, oh, Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon, but you did get six right. That's $600 added to the five you won before. That's $1,100. That was a terrific game. Please join us next time for another terrific game of Make the Grade. Goodbye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Knight Sneakers. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BK's British Knight Athletic Footwear for guys and gals. Wherever you go, whatever you do, British Knight, the right move for you. And Squealer Stunt Wireless with the new motion. This is your announcer, Maria Melito, asking you to join me and Lou, that's L-E-W, again for Make the Grade. See you next time. 
So uh, be prepared. I should remind you that behind some of those question squares, guys, there are wild cards, including some fire drills, and those can change the course of the game at any moment. So kind of be on the lookout. But we'll deal with those when they come up. In the meantime, Allison, you won the right to go first. Why don't you select a square? And let's make the grade. Um, I'd like TV stuff elementary, please. TV stuff elementary, okay. Whoa, fire drill right off the bat. All right, come on over here, players. Let's see, Allison, where you go? All right, guys, well, you know what? That's about the earliest fire drill we've ever had. And you know what? It's a good, it was just like a fire drill. Didn't mean much, but the, in the event of an actual catastrophe, that would have been important. I don't know. Guys, that's important. It didn't, it didn't change much. Others, go ahead, Allison. Um, English grade nine. English grade nine. That is a take a square. Um, I'll take English elementary. All right, she's going to take the English elementary. And uh, that goes over to you. Good for you, Allison. All right, keep us moving here. Um, that is a free squared. OK, Allison. PE grade 11. PE grade 11. Players, this could perhaps mean the game. Here we go. The initials of the word self-contained underwater breathing apparatus stand for which sport, Allison? Scuba diving. Scuba diving in the red desk. Allison, you are our champion. Congratulations. Okay, great job, Allison, for winning that game. So far, you have already picked up $500. But here we are in the honors round, and now you have a chance to add to that total a huge chunk of change. Okay, here's how it works. We have three categories. You pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. The choices for today are fill in the blanks, islands of the world, or famous women. Which would you like to answer? I'm fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. All right, we've divided fill in the blanks into seven subjects. The subjects are math, geography, home ec, English, the arts, history, and social studies. Now, as I go through these questions, if you do not know the answer to one, pass that question. We'll come back to it later. Okay. I'll give you $100 for every one you get right. You get all seven correct, $1,000. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. May I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. The rock band, Blank Maniacs. Pass. Geography. Mark Twain's novel, Life on What River? Mississippi. Right. Home ec. Campbell's soups are mm, mm what? Good. Right. English, the Shakespearean play, Romeo and who? Juliet. Right. Arts, the movie, When Harry Met Who? Sally. Right. History, Lincoln's famous speech, the Gettysburg what? Address. Right. Social studies, the TV channel, video hits what? One. Right. Math, the rock band, Blank Maniacs. I don't know. A number. The rock band, Blank Maniacs. Seven. No, that is incorrect. Uh, oh, Allison, I'm so sorry. Six or seven, 10,000 maniacs is the name of the band. Oh, you got six, right? That's $600 added to the 500 previous total. That's $1,100 you're going home with. That's terrific. Great job. Thank you. Oh, I hope you had a lot of fun. I sure I did. did. And I hope you people join us again next time for another fun time here on Make the Grade. Goodbye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Knight Sneakers. Get off on the very few players of the game. 50,000 correct him, Alito. Hey, Lou, if you're getting up early to run around the mulberry bush, count me out. I'm sleeping in. See you later. Oh, Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. Yaw, mule. Whoa. No? Even the impression? That didn't help you? Oh, there's one. Not going to bother. Keep going, Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we've got a tight match going here. One and one. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. You stand back at his head. Okay, let me see. That fire drill could have really hurt you, Doug. You did a great job winning that one because uh, you could have switched. If anyone else had won, they would have picked uh, your booth, uh, your uh, podium uh, desk. I'll think of the word at one point or another. Uh, but you, you held your position, and that's great. That puts you in good shape for uh, picking our next square. Go right ahead. U.S. State Names Elementary. U.S. State Names Elementary could win with this one. What tiny place is known as the first state? Doug? Delaware. Delaware is right. That's it. Good for you. Oh, Doug, for that little number, you are our champion. You win $500. And not only that, you're the lucky one who's going to graduate to the honors round with a chance to add another $1,000 to your total. Woo! 
All right, but before we do that, we have to say goodbye to our runners-up. Uh, Marissa and Jamie, you played a great game today, and uh, we don't send you home empty-handed here. For your efforts, you do receive uh, $50, and uh, you also get these wonderful prizes. Tell them all about it, Maria. Okay, Lou, each of our runner-ups will receive a Secret Magic Sesame Word Game. Be happy, don't worry, play the exciting Secret Magic Sesame Word Game. A great fun gift for your friends and family. Available at toy stores everywhere. And the incredible Franklin Spelling Ace makes spelling fast and... I thought it was a bold move at the top of the game when you told me that your name was The Brain. I thought, uh-oh, if this guy doesn't win, he's going to have to go back to school and take a, you know, a lot of razzing from your friends. But uh, you came through, huh? Yep. That's The Brain. All right, here's what we're going to do here. This is the honors round. Now you have a chance to add to your $500 winnings from the first game. You have a chance to add up to one thousand dollars that's right a lot of spinach there my friend okay i'm sure that'll come in handy now here's how we do it we have three categories you pick one and then in 45 seconds you must answer seven questions correctly in that category the categories today are cities amazing animals and famous pairs what would you like to answer cities okay you've picked cities now the category of cities has been divided into seven subjects science history music Phys Ed, Geography, Arts, and Math. Now, the questions on all those subjects relate somehow to the category of cities that you've chosen. All right, now, you get $100 for every correct answer. You can pass. If you don't know the answer to a question, pass it. We'll come back to it. Uh, you get $100 for every right answer. If you get all seven correctly, what do you get? $1,500. $1,000 added yeah. to your five. Okay, yeah. that is great. You know the story there yeah. money-wise. All right, now, uh, I'm going to have... Uh, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 45 seconds on the clock, and the time won't start until I finish mm -hmm. reading the first question. Okay? Put 45 seconds on, please. Okay. Here we go. Science. In what city could you find the Smithsonian Institute? Washington. Right. History. In what city was George Washington first sworn in as president? New York. New York City. Right. Music. If I left my heart in San Francisco, what state would it be in? Pass. Phys Ed, in what southern city would you find a place called the Astrodome? Paris. Geography, what's the capital of France? Paris. Right. The Arts, in what city would you find Radio City Music Hall? New York City. Right. Math, how many vowels in Detroit? Pass. Music, if I left my heart in San Francisco, what state would it be in? Pass. Phys Ed, in what southern city would you find a place called the Astrodome? Houston. Right. Math, how many vowels in Detroit? Three. Right. Music, if I left my heart in San Francisco, what state would it be in? St. Louis. Oh! Oh! Oh, no. That's incorrect. The only one you missed is California, San Francisco, oh. California. Oh, oh you got six right. You're one away from it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. For, you won $500 in the first game. You won $600 here. You add that together. It's 1100 bucks. It's not a bad payday right up here. Man. Oh, all right. God, that was so close to the brain, man. That's the one that stuck me. I'm so surprised. Listen, you, Doug answered a lot of tough questions here today. And I wonder just how well other people in our culture... I'm going to ask you a knitting question. You complete the pattern for me, okay? Knit one. Oh, pearl wood. Pearl wood. Well, we finally have our first win now. Brooke. 7 p.m. Correct also. Correct answer. Three. The red desk, Brooke, is tied with Teddy at the blue desk. Let's look at the board to break the tie. Teddy has 10 squares on the board to Brooke, 7. Teddy at the blue desk is our champion. Teddy. Okay, we are back. Teddy, great game. It was tied on the board. You won it with all those questions. You had answered up there on the big board. Now, here we are in the honors round, and here is how it works. You have a chance to win up to $1,000. We have three categories. You're going to pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. The category choices are sources of noise, movie mania, or fill in the blank. Which one would you like? I'll take movie mania. All right. Now, we've divided movie mania into seven subjects, and the subjects are social studies, geography, phys ed, history, music, the arts, and English. Now, as I go through these questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that question later. I'll give you 100 bucks for everyone you get right. You get all seven. 1,000 clamatoes, my friend. All right. Here we are. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Could I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. Social studies. Good morning, Vietnam. Starred what famous comedian? Robin Williams. Right. Geography. Batman fought crime in what city? Um, pass. 
Phys Ed, what sport is the movie Bull Durham about? Baseball. Right. History, which came first, The Wizard of Oz or Mary Poppins? Wizard of Oz. Right. Music, Bobby Brown sang the theme song to what ghostly movie Ghostbusters sequel? Ghostbusters 2. Right. Arts, who played the title role in the movie Beetlejuice? Um, Michael Keaton. Right. English, how do you spell the title of the movie Uncle Buck? Capital U-N-C-L-E, capital B-U-C-K. Right. Geography, Batman fought crime in what city? Gotham City. That's correct. That is $1,000. Seven answers right. What's the next thing right here, my friend? You got seven right. That's $1,500 for winning the first game, $1,500 total. You had a great game. We had a great time having you. Please, folks, join us next time on Make the Grade. Good night. Promotional consideration provided by the incredible Franken Spelling Ace. Make spelling. You'll visit the world every style in Hungary and Molito. Join me and the incredibly goofy Lou Schneider again for Make the Grade. See you next time. Very tight. Very tight competition at this point. Mitten opted by winning that fire drill, but he opted to stay at his red spot, which is good. It sets him up very well. We actually have a uh, very close game, actually a tie at this point on the, on the scoreboard. And Nitten, uh, you controlled uh, the, the board by winning that fire drill. Why don't you keep us going? Ask a square. Um, I like Sidekicks Elementary. Okay, Sidekicks Elementary. The Cape Crusader used to be accompanied by what young partner? Nitten. Robin. Sure, Robin. The boy one there. Okay, Nitten. Oh, there is the time. And at that moment, uh, it was Nitten in the red desk with that last question. He broke the tie and goes home our winner. But he doesn't go home, folks. Congratulations to the honors round. He's won $500 in the honors round. He'll have a chance to perhaps add another $1,000 in prize money. But before we see how that works out, we do have to say goodbye to your runners-up, Nitten. Natalie and Rachel, unbelievably close game. Beautiful job. Great play from both of you people. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We don't send you home empty-handed. We do have $50 for your fine efforts today, as well as these terrific... All right, we are back. Congratulations, Nitten. Great victory there. You won with that last question. All three of you were tied going into the fire drill. You picked up that last answer and did it. You won that. You won $500. But now here in the honors round, you have a chance to pick up another 1,000 potatoes. All right. Here's how it works. We have three categories. You're going to pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. Category choices are sources of noise, fill in the blanks, or white things. Which one would you like? Fill in the blanks. All right, fill in the blanks. Now, we've divided fill in the blanks to seven different categories. Categories are science, arts, English, home ec, music, history, and phys ed. As I go through the questions, if you don't know the answer to one, pass it. We'll come back to that question later. Give you $100 for every one you get right. Get all seven, $1,000. Okay? Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Uh, could you please put this boy's head in a box over here? And 45 seconds on the clock. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Science, the formula for water. H2 what? Oh. Right. The arts, the TV show, who's the what? Boss. Right. English, the Dr. Seuss book, the cat in the what? The cat in the hat. Right. Home ec, the famous cereal, Kellogg's Rice, what? Krispies. Right. Music, the musical group, New Kids on the what? Block. Right. History, the second president of the United States, John what? Adams. Right. Phys Ed, the sports program, ABC's Monday Night what? Football. Right. Nitten, yes. you have done it. Yes. That's right. Seven is correct. That's a thousand dollars. Add it to your total report. Fifteen hundred dollars. Nitten, great job. Yeah, right. Hope you had fun here today. I'm sure you did, and I'm sure you folks will have fun when you join us next time on Make the Grade. Goodbye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by the Ray-Ban Smart Start Collection from Bausch & Loam. They're what's happening in kids' fashion. Serious sunglasses for kids, available in various styles and colors. And also by Go Head-to-Head -head Wireless with the new Nintendo Double Player System from Acclaim. Twin Turbo Rapid Fire and Slow Motion from Acclaim, the masters of the game. And Johnny Pong, a new kind of ping pong that keeps everyone on their toes with fast four-way competition. Easy to learn and master, it's sure to bring hours of enjoyment. What kind of card has two handles but only one wheel? The wheelbarrow. Did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Melito. Hey, Lou. Sward, Peter the Mediocre, Fruited Plains. You need a vacation. See you next time. Okay, Frank. Um, I'd like science for ninth grade. Science, ninth grade. All right, this could be the game here. 
who developed the theory of relativity. Frank? Einstein. Einstein is correct. And at the green desk, it is Frank who is our winner. Frank, great job. You are gonna go, you win $500 for your work so far, and you are gonna go to the honors round with the chance of another $1,000. But before we do that, and I know Uncle Jack would wanna see this, and I'm not just making up this guy, there really is an Uncle Jack. He's married to my Aunt Debbie. So that proves it. Okay, <laughs> here's how it works. We do have a great fire drill set up, and we didn't get to do it, and I wanna do it. So please, players, join me over at that fire drill. I want you to compete, and I'll give 50 bucks to the winner of this fire drill. Let's move over here. Stand behind the line. Let me explain how this works. You're gonna take the balls, this is what we call uh, sk space skittles, Jack and Deb. You're gonna pick up these balls, you're gonna launch them out there like that, you're gonna knock over the rockets. The person who can knock over all their rockets first is the winner of the fire drill, wins the 50 bucks. By the way, you consolation players, Janelle and Liana, we're not sending you home empty-handed. You already win 50 bucks just for playing, but you have a chance to add another 50 right here. You can also add another 50 too. Okay. But that would be very greedy. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, so take the balls when I say go. Don't touch them until I say go. On your mark. Get set, go, and be careful when they swing back. They can come back really hard. It's actually where protective headgear. See, so look out. Lightly, catch it gently. Oh, there we go. Keep going. Frank, you are so greedy. Okay, hold up. Very nice. Okay, stop right there. Frank, you won it, man. That was it, Space Skittles. I think that's one of the greatest events we've ever come up with. Uh, Frank, you're going to take home another 50 bucks. You're going to go to the honors round. But first, we have to say goodbye to your runners-up. You guys, not only do you win 50 bucks for playing it, that's good sportsmanship. There you go. Shake over here. No shakeage. I'll shake everyone's hand. Good job. Good job, Liana. Thanks for playing. We send you home with $50, as well as these terrific consolation gifts. Why don't you tell us about those, Maria? Okay, Lou. Okay, we are back with Frank, who is crushing us financially so far. Frank, <laughs> you won $500 in the first game. Then you came over here. I was showing the fire drill to my Uncle Jack. You won $50 doing that. Now here you are in the honors round. You have a chance at another $1,000. And now, what are you going to do with all that money? I don't know. You don't know? More fish. There's always more fish. You know what they say, Frank? <laughs> Plenty of fish in the sea. And you only own a few of them. Buy another Oscar fish? No, I don't have enough room. No, why? They just eat everything. Is he in his own tank? No, he's got other fish, as long as they're big enough that he can't fit them in, the mouth, in his mouth. You know, that's a good rule of thumb. It's like having a little kid around. You don't want anything in your house that the kid can fit in his mouth, otherwise he'll do that. Anyway, uh, listen, you, do you have any uncles you'd like to say hello to before we get going here? Sure, Uncle Gene and Uncle Paul. Uncle Gene and Uncle Paul, are they watching the show? Yeah. Good, okay. And uh, do you want to say hello to any of your friends? No, yeah, it's one of my friends. <laughs> You're the rich guy. Say hello to my friends. I know this guy. Anyway, all right. Uh, here's how the honors round works, Frank. Uh, we have three. You have three categories. You're going to choose one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. Now, today's category choices are missing words, grab bag, and movies. Which one would you like? I'd like the grab bag. Okay, grab bag is a different uh, choice of uh, pretty much randomly selected trivia type questions, and we divided them into seven subjects. So these subjects are arts, music. English, math, phys ed, geography, and social studies. Now, as I go through these questions, if you don't know the answer to one, you should pass that question. We'll come back to it later. I'll give you $100 for each one you get right. I'll give you, if you get all seven right, that's when you make what? $1,000. Another 1,000, so I can't even say it. 1,000 clams, I was gonna say. I don't, even, I don't even have words for money now. Okay, so plenty of money. That's what I'm talking about, $1,000. Okay, now here, your time will not start until I finish reading the first question. Please put 45 seconds on the clock. Good. Okay, here we go. The arts. In the movies, who plays Batman? Michael Keaton. Right. Music. Who sang Man in the Mirror and Billie Jean? Michael Jackson. Right. English. Who wrote Tom Sawyer? Mark Twain. Right. Math. What's 10% of 50? Five. Right. Phys ed. In baseball, how many balls before you walk? Four. Right. Geography. What is the capital of Michigan? Lansing. Right. Social studies. Who is vice president of the United States? Dan Quayle. Dan Quayle is right. And for that, you have picked up seven correct answers. That's another thousand bucks. Five hundred for the game. Fifty for the fire drill. One thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. You are our champion today. Great job. Great job, Frank. Frank answered a lot of tough questions today. And we wondered how the public would do on these same tough questions. So please, join me outside to see... We've come through the jungles of Borneo to meet some of the natives and then play a little make the grade. Hi. Hi. In your language, hi. Hi, Maria. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Make the Grade, the fast-paced game show featuring three bright kids and me, the host in pink, in a battle 
to answer questions and win cash prizes. Before we take a look at the board and our subjects for today, let's meet our players. Hi, players. Hello. Hi. How are you? We have eighth graders joining us in the studio today, and at the red desk we have Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Nice peach socks. Hey, leave those socks alone. That's, uh, I don't pick these socks. Can the viewers at home see these? These are uh, pink, and I didn't pick them. They give me the stuff, and I have to put it on. I'm sorry. I would never wear pink socks unless, of course, I'd done all my reds with the whites and the laundry and the bleach pink. Never mind. That's not the point. Thank you, Samantha, for insulting me right off the bat. In the meantime, Samantha likes to act. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. By children's age. I don't really. Hello, Luke. Jay, would you like to insult me real quick before we get no. going? No. It's all right. Thanks. Uh, Jay? Hey, <laughs> Jay. I'll take 12th grade history. 12th grade history. This could give you the game if answered correctly. Players, on what continent was the Vietnam War fought? Samantha. I'm sorry, I don't know. Take a guess. No. Either Nicole or Jay. On what continent was the Vietnam War fought? Jay? Asia. Asia is right. And at the blue desk, it is Jay who is our winner. Very nice job, Jay. You are taking home $500. And you'll also go to the honors round where you have a chance to pick up another 1000 bucks in prize money. Terrific job. God, we had a very, gosh, we had a very tight game, tight game there. And you just beat out Samantha and Nicole, who did very well. We don't send you two, Samantha and Nicole. We don't send you home empty-handed. We do have $50 for you both, as well as these terrific consolation prizes. Tell them about those. $50 right after the... All right, we are back. Congratulations, Jay. You've done a great job so far winning that first game. You've won $500. Now, at this point, we're in the honors round. You have a chance to pick up another 1,000 clams, and here is how it works. You're gonna, we have three categories. You're going to pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions on that category. The category choices for today are American history, fill in the blanks, or grab bag. Which one of those would you like? I'll take fill in the blanks. All right, fill in the blanks. Uh, these are questions where you'll leave out a word and you'll just have to fill it in. You know, okay. fill in the blanks. Okay. Uh, we've divided fill in the blanks into seven different subjects, and the subjects are music, the arts, history, home ec, geography, English, and math. Now, as I go through these questions, the subject questions, and you don't, if you don't know the answer to one, you should pass it. We'll come back to that question later. Okay. I'll give you $100 for everyone you get right. Get all seven. 1000 bucks. What are you going to do with that kind of money? Um, probably buy a computer. So you'll have all the answers then at your fingertips. Good for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. I have 45 seconds on the clock. Uh, beautiful. Here we go. Music. The folk song. I've been working on the what? Railroad. Right. The arts. The TV show. The facts of what? Life. Right. History. Christopher Columbus. Discoverer of what? America. Right. Home ec. The famous sandwich. A BL what? T. Right. Geography. The capital of Argentina. Buenos what? Aries. Right. English. The famous saying. Roses are red. Violets are what? Blue. Math. Nine times nine equals what? Eighty-one. Eighty-one. That's seven for seven. That's one thousand dollars. Yes. Good job. That's seven for seven. He's going to go home with $1,500 from, from the first game. That's $1,500 total. You did a great job today. I hope you're excited. I'm going to do the victory dance. We'll see you all next time. Bye. From Brody's the name of the grade. You know what? I just cooked up a nice big bowl of steaming grits for you. See you next time.